Oh, well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar this afternoon. We'll just give everyone a, a minute or two to get themselves settled. Hopefully you've got a cup of tea or a nice coffee there in front of you to help you get through the next half hour or 45 minutes or so. Well, I think we'll jump straight into it, everyone. So just by way of introduction, my name is Jesse Ryan. Uh, I work at Ingram Micro. I've been here for about 18 months or so now, and I look after the Veeam uh, VCSP platform. So that's the consumption model uh, of selling Veeam licenses. So potentially I've met some of you who have joined in. Uh, I hope that's the case. If it's the first time, maybe you're seeing my face for the first time, sorry about that. But I uh, look forward to being able to work along with you in the future as well. Now, I know that everyone's uh, busy at the moment, millions of things happening in your uh, world, no doubt. So straight up, just wanted to say thank you for taking some time out and being able to uh, join us for this webinar. Now, just to set the tone uh, for what's going to follow, I wanted you to think for a moment about some of the key words that are there in the theme of this particular webinar. Take, for example, the word shared, or maybe we could just shorten it, the word share. When you think of the word share, how does it make you feel? What comes to mind? Well, maybe it takes you back to your childhood when your mum or dad told you you had to share something. We didn't like sharing as children. Uh, maybe as we get a little older though, we recognise that there can be a little bit of stress that can be taken away if we have to share certain things. Uh, what about the word responsibility? Well, that's definitely a word even as an adult it doesn't make us feel great. In fact, as adults, we spend a lot of our time sort of ducking and weaving and trying to avoid uh, responsibility. So you might be thinking, well, we're not off to a great start here with this webinar. We've looked at two words that are making me feel a little bit depressed uh, and not too positive. Well, that's where the negativity is going to end because we're now going to move on to the next few words in the theme. And this is where hopefully you'll start to see the opportunity that is there for you working for, as a managed service provider. The next two key words are really key. Data management. Well, we could flip that around and say the management uh, of data. Now, we've all heard that expression that uh, data is the new oil. And for those of us who have been working along in the IT industry, particularly attached uh, perhaps to storing data or something like that, uh, we realise that we are very fortunate to be working in this industry because it is rapidly growing and along with that data growth, there are all sorts of other services that can be wrapped around it. And one of those services, of course, is going to be backup and making sure that backup is very much part of your artillery and something that you're rolling out to your customers. So if you're a business owner, we really hope that you see the opportunity that is being presented here. We hope that you see that by working along with Theme, partnering with Ingram Micro, that you'll be able to increase your revenue. That there's an opportunity for you to be able to even get your hands on the data of your clients, as it were, and, and set up recurring revenue. I'm finding those two words are, are very critical to a lot of organisations at the moment. No longer just interested in just seeing big spikes in revenue, but to see steady climb in recurring revenue. Well, this is where the VCSP platform is really going to be for you. And if you're a salesperson like myself, um, different things that motivate us in life, but I don't know about you, commission makes me smile and hopefully you see the opportunity that presents itself for you to be able to increase your sales, hit KPI targets and with a bit of luck um, cash in on some, um, some rewards there as well. Now we really don't want you to get to the end of this webinar and be a little bit confused or a little bit sort of vague. What was the whole point? I know myself sometimes I join events and I get to the end of it and, and I lose focus on what the event was really about. We're hoping that by the end of this webinar, you will understand clearly these three points. Number one, just what the shared responsibility model is. Number two, you'll understand what storage uh, options are available through Ingram Micro. And thirdly, you will know who CT4 is and why they are a partner that is absolutely worthy 
of your consideration. So let's jump now to our next slide if we can and we'll address this first key subject which is why the shared responsibility. Well I'm pretty sure that I was amongst the first to sell Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 as we call it now in Australia and New Zealand and when it first was released by Veeam that product it was a bit of a hard slog I found and to just get conversations going was a bit tricky. And then I stumbled across something in the Microsoft Services Agreement. And if we can have that next slide now brought up, that'll be helpful. I'm not sure if we're able to have that next slide moved along there for us. There we go. All right, now what I'm showing with you here isn't just something that I found in, in marketing from Veeam or marketing from Ingram Micro. This is a screenshot directly from the Microsoft Services Agreement. And whilst you can come up with a million different reasons of why backing up data, particularly SaaS environments such as Microsoft 365 is important, there is nothing more powerful than having a customer or an end user navigate their own way to the Microsoft Services Agreement. Encourage them to scroll to 6b and I'll just read this paragraph out together. This is from Microsoft. We strive to keep the services up and running. However, all online services suffer occasional disruptions and outages and Microsoft is not liable for any disruption or loss you may suffer as a result. In the event of an outage, you may not be able to retrieve your content or data that you have stored. We recommend that you regularly back up your content and data that you store on the services or store using third-party apps and services. Well, do we see how powerful um, this bit of information is? You see, clearly this isn't a concept, the backing up Microsoft 365, the shared responsibility model. It's not a concept that Veeam have cooked up Ingram Micro or CT4. No, Microsoft themselves have acknowledged their role in their service and they state very, very clearly that engaging a backup product, for example, uh, the Veeam product, is absolutely the way to go. Now, as we progress throughout the webinar, we're going to hear from um, different chaps who are a little bit smarter than me, a bit more technical, it's not too hard, and they'll do a slightly deeper dive into what this shared responsibility is. But I just wanted to address three particular topics that I found as a salesperson myself very easy to get conversations going. Let's jump forward to that next slide again now if we can. So you'll notice as we progress throughout the webinar, there'll be about six key pillars as to why the shared responsibility model exists. But I'm just going to focus on three of them. If we can get that next slide progressed, please. There we go. So let's take these uh, one at a time. The first one is legal and compliance requirements. Now you might be thinking, surely the chances of my organisation or any of my customers being called into a legal dispute or something like that, that's not going to happen. Well, I can assure you it does happen and probably more common than we might think. Uh, with my previous employment, we were regular, our services were regularly engaged uh, where each time a Royal Commission was rolled out. And the data that had to be presented was not only in large quantities, uh, but some of the topics that get discussed, if you haven't got the ability to be able to defend yourself, it can certainly be a challenge. So how can we start a conversation around this topic? Well, here's a very simple question, and it's posed there in that slide. If you were pulled into a legal proceeding, could you provide the necessary data even from ex-employees? And what do we do after we ask a good question? Well, we do what salespeople aren't generally good at, and that's being quiet. Uh, remind ourselves we've got two ears and one mouth, so we, we stop and, and we allow for an answer. And we're not trying to scare, of course, customers uh, into going for a solution, but we really want to uh, make them aware that this can be an issue, absolutely relevant to this discussion. The second key topic that I found very good in starting conversations is around internal security threats. And whilst every employer would dread to think that any of their employees could ever do anything malicious, 
Uh, the reality is that people are jumping ship left, right and centre. People are changing organisations. You only got to look at LinkedIn posts. People are starting jobs all the time. And some of those people will be disgruntled. And as much again as we hate to think that they are any of our colleagues or they would work in an organisation that we're associated with, again, statistics and the reality is somewhat otherwise. So the question that we could ask to get the conversation going, should one of your employees go rogue, what damage could they do? Again, we go quiet and we allow for a response. So we've looked at two of those topics thus far, legal and compliance requirements, internal security threats. Let's now look at this third one, external security threats. Well, fortunately, the likes of Optus have been doing a bit of free advertising uh, here for us, haven't we? Barely a week goes by that there isn't an article, or we, we see on the news anyway, of a large organisation being attacked by ransomware. Now again, we're not trying to scare customers into having a backup solution. We're actually helping them. We're helping them to avoid the different pitfalls that can come if they do not have a robust backup strategy there in place. A simple question that we can ask for the conversation, you'll see it there in the slide. If you were hit by ransomware, what could happen to the files or data that is stored in Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive? Put ourselves on mute and wait for a response. Friends, we, we want to remind ourselves that in no way are we selling ice to Eskimos here. Selling Veeam products, selling Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 is helping your customers. It is helping end users who are on that Microsoft platform. So we should never be shy or a bit embarrassed in trying to pitch these solutions. This is something that your customers absolutely need to know about. Well, that then leads us to the next part of our webinar. And that's related to, well, that's fine. We understand what the shared responsibility is, but where are we going to push that backup data to? And maybe you've got your own storage, you're a service provider who has your own data centers. Fantastic. You are absolutely ready to get up and running on the VCSP platform. Reach out to me. We will help you get going. But maybe you don't have your own data centers. And that's why listening to Roshan, who's an architect on the IaaS team, the Infrastructure as a Service team at Ingram Micro, it's going to be very interesting to see how consumption, particularly Azure consumption through Ingram Micro, can help you to roll out backup as a service. So at this point, I'd just like to thank you for your attention thus far and hand over to Roshan. Thank you, Jesse. I hope everybody can hear me clearly. Uh, I'll turn on my camera now just to make sure people can see me as well. Uh, uh, Jesse, is my voice and video clear? Crystal clear, and I have and I have to make a comment on your haircut too, Roshan, if that's okay. Uh, looking very <laughs> sharp there, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> so, uh, like. Jesse explained. Uh, before I get into the slides, a, a quick introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Roshan. I work with Ingram Micro Cloud Team as a solution architect, primarily focusing on infrastructure as services, uh, and within that, Microsoft Azure uh, uh, mainly. Uh, today, we'll be talking about uh, uh, shared responsibility, data protection, data security. But before I get into that, uh, uh, if you look at the market trend, everybody uh, has been talking about digital transformation for many many years and pandemic kind of accelerated it uh, and when we talk about digital we think of is okay can we move into a software as a service world and that's the typical mindset of a customer um, when he looks at modernizing uh, his IT infrastructure um, and there's nothing wrong with that right? so it, it, uh, software as a service uh, is the preferred technology that, that most of the MSPs and customers tend to use, uh, but just having data on software as a service platform uh, is not the end of the road, right? Uh, data is the new currency, data is the new oil, and protecting your data no matter where it is stored, whether it is software as a service, uh, in a hosted environment, in infrastructure as whatever it is, it is still one of the major responsibilities of uh, the customer or in the scenario service providers right so people still tend to forget that 
data is what is more important, right? Data, no matter where it, it is still accessed uh, by every each and every person in an organization, right? From a CEO all the way up to front desk people, everybody has access to data and securing this data, making sure the data is uh, available to access, manage, restore is the most important uh, uh, job or is, is the most important task uh, for uh, for an MSP or the customer who, who looks after this data. So when you move data into cloud, in, in the cloud world, and right now we are focusing on Microsoft 365, uh, Microsoft has this shared responsibility model. Uh, Jesse spoke about, probably touched more on the Microsoft 365 side of it. And what the shared responsibility tells is there are certain things that Microsoft is responsible for and certain things that they're not responsible for, right? So it's a shared responsibility. So you do some and Microsoft does some. Microsoft's responsibility is to make sure the service is up and running. Uh, they make sure that the, the, the infrastructure, the, the hardware, the networking, the switches, the routers, uh, the base infrastructure using which they're providing the service is, is up and running, there's no issues with it. But the data that you put into Microsoft 365, into your Teams, into your OneDrive, SharePoint, Exchange, is still the customer's responsibility because that is your data, right? You're sending emails, you're uploading data. If something goes wrong with your email, if, if it gets corrupted, um, if you upload uh, or if, if the account gets compromised and somebody else has access to your data, it is your responsibility. Microsoft gives you all the tools and technologies to protect and they also uh, definitely uh, uh, now give you options of looking at third party providers to form a, a, a much holistic solution or a solution that can cater to a customer, right? They, they give you all the options, but it is uh, the MSP's responsibility to be the trusted advisor, provide them with the tools, technology, knowledge that they can use in order to safeguard uh, the customer's environment, right? And in this scenario is, is M365. Like uh, Jesse again mentioned uh, about the service agreement, Microsoft does tell that, yes, they will try and make sure the service is up and running all the time. We have seen in, in the past that uh, there are downtime situations that happen from time to time. Uh, and at this time, um, and, and at those downtime, it is very important that you're able to back up and restore or, or if there's an accidental deletion or if the rogue administrator, right? So all these are various scenarios where having a backup of your data uh, becomes very, very important. And, and that is what the shared responsibility uh, is all about. Uh, looking at Microsoft 365 again in, in, uh, in specific uh, uh, or looking through the lens, uh, it has various services each service has its own way of um, storing and recovering data, right? Uh, if I take an example of SharePoint, SharePoint has recycle bins. It has first level recycle bin, second level recycle bin, uh, and there are ways to configure uh, the how long you would like to have the data in it. But if you're from a customer standpoint and from an MSCP standpoint, if you, you would ideally want to have a solution using which you can not only safeguard one customer with simple set of uh, steps, but you would like to use that one technology or one tool to safeguard multiple customers uh, from a single location or from a single tool, right? And that is where uh, the, the, the product solutions or the solution that we are presenting uh, to you today would, would make a lot of sense. So in this slide, as you can see, uh, there's different retention policies for mailbox for uh, OneDrive for SharePoint. Uh, but Veeam has this one software called Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 that can give you protection for all the services that is available. It is not just looking at Exchange or it is not just looking at SharePoint. It is one solution that targets all the services that's available within the Microsoft uh, stack, Microsoft 365 stack, right? Um, and in the upcoming slides, you will see how simple and easy it is to it is to set up, configure, run, uh, and and make a life of uh, an MSP easy uh, and yet profitable. Uh, now you are providing a very specialized software, which is a very specialized offering to your customer, which, which also helps you stand 
out uh, from the competitors, right? Uh, you're providing an easy backup and user technology. Uh, it can not only back up one, it can back up everything. And it's quick, fast, reliable. So it, it makes a very good value proposition when you when you pitch it to your customers as well. Uh, again, why do you need to back up? Uh, uh, several reasons. Accidental deletion is, is one common. Uh, these days, external and internal threats are on, on, are on the rise. Uh, external threats, uh, we've all heard of Optus, Medicare, and, and Australia has now become one of the, one of the target countries for, for a lot of ransomware attacks. So uh, I'm sure these attacks will, will go bigger and, and, and more frequent. So uh, there's no better time to have protection around your data and having backup is probably the, the very first protection that you can bring into, into the infrastructure, right? Uh, internal security threats, uh, not only people switching from company to company, let's say if you have a rogue IT administrator who pretty much has admin access to everything, if he um, is able to, let's say, deploy a ransomware before he moves on to another company or he's able to Put them back door in, uh, into the into the infrastructure before he moves on to another company. That that's a very big security risk, right? So having backup of your infrastructure, making sure uh, no data gets compromised, you are able to recover data in case of a disaster, uh, is uh, is probably the most important task that that needs to be done. And today, a lot of customers are in the hybrid scenario. They have some applications running on prem. Some applications running in cloud, uh, instead of having multiple products, it is easier to have one product or, or, or products from a particular vendor who's able to um, protect all the different applications, no matter where they're running and, and able to provide you uh, with, with uh, the tools and technologies to recover, uh, help your compliance and legal find information when required. A lot of times legal required data, which is probably 10, 12 years old, right? Um, and that is where the technologies which we are talking about today will, will help you do that. So the technology, uh, the solution uh, is uh, from Microsoft and Azure. So Microsoft, of course, we're using M365. Now, we would definitely strongly recommend customers to use the solution on Azure. The reason for that is then it, it kind of becomes a cloud solution, right? So you have M365, which is already cloud, you install Beam backup for Microsoft 365 on a virtual machine, on a very, very simple Windows virtual machine, uh, have some storage assigned to it. And then you are running Beam on Azure, you have M365, you're able to backup and restore uh, between Azure and, and M365, right? So it becomes a cloud to cloud solution. Uh, there's no network uh, uh, latency or there's very less network latency uh, on and on Azure you get an ever expanding uh, backup repository, right? So you can start small, and as and when you take more and more backup, you can keep it increasing. So uh, you get the best of both worlds. You get uh, M365, you get Azure, you get all the infrastructure as a service benefits, all the platform as a service benefits, um, and you're able to meet every requirement of a customer. If he wants to uh, restore one uh, mailbox, an entire uh, SharePoint site, or a document library, so you can drill up, drill down within the software, and, and you're able to do it. And it is always up and running in cloud, right? So as an MSP, even uh, you would want to reduce your risk. So if you run the software on-prem and there's there's a disaster in your infrastructure, then you're not only losing your credibility, you're also losing the customer data. But having it on Azure, Microsoft guarantees the 99.99 percent uptime. So you are rest assured that your VMs are up and running all the time and you're able to back up and whenever required. Now, this is for one customer. Now, as an MSP, you would always want to look at an offering where you're take, you, you are able to take the simple solution and expand it to customers, right? And that is exactly what uh, Veeam offers. Uh, so here, backup uh, for M365 is not just a product for one customer, you can have this product for multiple customers. So you can have one uh, virtual machine or uh, but use that that one solution to target, let's say 10, 15, 20, 30 customers uh, and protect all their data into Azure and then provide restoration whenever required. So now you are offering backup as a service for, uh, for M365 for all your customers using 
might surpass your as your infrastructure. So from a profitability standpoint, there's very almost no investment from your end in terms of hardware or network or storage. You're using uh, the best of worlds technologies uh, uh, and, and able to provide service to your customer. And all you need to make sure is you have somebody trained on how to use this technology, how to uh, build a virtual machine in storage, which is quite simple. Um, and provide back by the service uh, features and functionality to customers. Now, this is the main uh, piece uh, of today's webinar, but I still want to talk uh, about a couple of different offerings also uh, from the same two vendors. Uh, Veeam is very popular in backup and, and disaster query world, uh, and Azure is uh, probably the, the most used uh, cloud service provider in the market today, right? Now, when you combine these two products, you are able to give several, uh, or you're able to take several new offerings to your customer, right? And not just to product your MGP 65, that's definitely one of the offerings, uh, but there are definitely different pieces of the puzzle that you can solve for a customer. So if you have customers using Beam uh, in their on-prem, you can use that same Beam software to back up their Beam on-prem, physical, virtual, Linux, Windows, whatever it is, and store the backup. You are able to use blob storage. So you can start with as less as one GB, you can go up to petabytes of data, and you can only pay for what you use. Veeam Cloud Connect uh, is an MSP offering. So you, if you have 10 Veeam customers, 50 Veeam customers using Veeam to backup their on premise uh, hardware, software, hardware into, let's say, storage and then tape drives, you can actually use Veeam Cloud Connect and have uh, either the primary backup on cloud or secondary backup on cloud, uh, and then you're offering backup as a service. You're basically projecting Azure storage as your own storage and, and having it available for all your customers, and they can do backup and restore uh, at, at any given time. If you already have customers on Azure, you can still use Veeam to backup those VMs on Azure, right? Uh, so let's say if you have customers running uh, virtual desktops on Azure, right? Or virtual machines and SQL Server, the virtual machines on Azure. You can still use Veeam. Veeam also has a virtual appliance on Azure. You can deploy it using the Azure Marketplace or you can deploy it uh, using uh, a virtual machine and installing the software. And you can use that to back up all the virtual machines within Azure and have it stored in the Azure uh, storage as well. Uh, Veeam disaster recovery is also very much possible. So if you have uh, an on-prem uh, Veeam infrastructure doing a DR between two different sites, you can use uh, between Veeam on, I'm sorry, using Azure and on-prem infrastructure, disaster recovery is possible using Veeam software. Uh, Veeam has this instant recovery option where you can take the backup of the entire virtual machine, store the backup in Azure, and if that VM or the server fails, you can start that virtual machine in Azure, right? So uh, it used to be called directly store in Azure, now it's called instant recovery. So those options are available. So you can provide on-demand disaster recovery options for your customer, uh, especially when they're in a hybrid scenario, when they have something on-prem, something on cloud, or if they're still primarily running on-prem, you can definitely use Veeam uh, to provide an on-prem to Azure uh, backup and disaster recovery options. Uh, and Veeam Backup for Office 365, we already spoke, uh, there's a wonderful tool that can provide you, uh, that, that can help you achieve that. So if any of you do have opportunities uh, around the various scenarios that we spoke, uh, feel free to get in touch with me. Uh, I can help you set it up. We can also provide some proof of concept funding, both in terms of services and Azure credits. So you can set it up, test it, showcase it to your customers. Uh, and if they say yes, all good then you can change the same uh, infrastructure into production. Okay, that's it from my side. I'd now like to hand over the floor to Nepun, who will talk about a very interesting solution that his company has put together, uh, and he'll walk you through how you can benefit from it. Over to you, Nepun. Thank you, Roshan. Thank you, Jesse. Just confirming if you can hear me clearly. Roshan? Yes, yes, we can hear you clearly. Hi everyone, um, my name is Nipun. I'm a global technology strategist at CT4. Uh, 
you know, just after a quick introduction and just before I get into the service product for N365, I just thought I'll do a quick introduction about CT4 as uh, who is CT4? So CT4 is a privately held global SaaS company founded in 2009 in Australia, headquartered in Melbourne and office in Brisbane. Now, as for today's topic, I will be talking to you through Source for Microsoft 365, which is CT4's flagship product and is trusted by clients all over the world. As you can see on the screen, these are a few big markets globally where we are already functioning and have clients, and we continue to expand further globally. Uh, to the next slide, Russian. So, so introducing Cirrus. What, what is Cirrus? Cirrus is built on reliable VM engine utilizing Azure's robust technologies. Just that beautiful presentation that uh, Roshan just gave uh, about how you can utilize VM engine on Azure, make it a SaaS based cloud solution. What Cirrus and CT4 has done, they've basically taken the powerful Wave engine and combined that and packaged it together with Microsoft Azure uh, as a bundle. Um, on to the next slide, please. Yeah. Which makes Cirrus a simple to deploy SaaS based solution that backs up your Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams. Just um, as, as we're talking about this, also on the roadmap, we have backup for Azure workloads, backup for AWS and Salesforce, which is on the roadmap at the moment uh, and will be launching in the future. Uh, next one, please. Thank you. Now, I'd like to thank Jesse and Russian again for taking us through the shared responsibility model. Uh, it clearly states that Microsoft is only responsible for uptime and infrastructure of the service and customer is responsible for the data. Now, talking about responsibility, this is exactly where SIRS helps you uh, and your customers fulfilling the part in taking care of M365 critical data by protecting you from ransomware, accidental deletion and data corruption. Just a, a couple of points that I could think of out of there are so many different data loss scenarios. Uh, and SIRS provides you uh, with full access and control of your data. So, for example, as an admin user or a backup admin, you get an intuitive dashboard within Cirrus, which is completely uh, web-based, web -based and you just access it through the cloud. And it's an intuitive, intu intuitive da dashboard with Cirrus access to all your critical data and restore with just a couple of clicks. Another thing that I wanted to clear was the compliance to retention policy gaps and data loss. Now, this is, this is a really interesting topic because a lot of people usually confuse retention policies and litigation hold to a backup solution. How I see it is retention and litigation hold is a strong concept within M365, but from my point of view, it's a prevention and backup is actually a treatment and they go much better hand in hand. Um, and protection from other security vulnerabilities uh, that Cirrus provides you there. Uh, next one, please, Rafael. Uh, next up, uh, thank you. Uh, these are some key features we have in Cirrus. Now, you may be wondering why I have put Veeam engine there again. So apart from just utilizing uh, Veeam's reliable backup engine, CT4 Cirrus has also adopted the Veeam licensing method and can into our SaaS based model. So meaning if you perform a whole organization backup for, for let's say for your tenancy or your client's tenancy, uh, you will be only charged for active M365 accounts that have reports out of your Microsoft 365 while it performs a backup for all of your shared mailboxes and archived account at no additional cost. And that's where the unlimited storage complements. So meaning you have a customer who's utilizing uh, 50, 50 active accounts at the moment, and they have 50 archive mailboxes or 50 shared mailboxes. All those additional resources in, as part of entire organization backup will be included, and regardless of the size, will be backed up at no additional cost. Compliance dashboard. So just with a single pane, you get um, you get to see your reports, your backup status, uh, in all of the Microsoft 365 health check to see who's the highest storage consumer, how much your tenancy is incrementing each month, and so. 
multiple options to restore. Now, this is also a really key feature that we have. Uh, is you can restore to original, download to local. You can also do a cross-site restore to a completely new user or a cross-site, uh, cross SharePoint site restore uh, to a completely new URL. And then just adding on to that is role-based access control. Backups are completely mutable as well. So even as an admin user, you cannot alter, delete, or modify anything within the backups. Uh, notifications, so you get all notifications for your alerts, such as warnings, success, failures, uh, and every single uh, log is monitored. So for example, you have multiple users accessing within your backups. Uh, you can always have those logs in there as to what a particular user was doing into the backup, and uh, that's all recorded. And next slide, please. Coming up slowly. Here we are. So this is the important bit that I wanted to uh, talk about. It. What what's in it for you? So 20% margin. If you have a client that uses M365, by adding Cirrus as a backup solution, you add a 20% margin straight away. Uh, minimal effort. Now Russian's going to hate me for this, uh, but Cirrus is a solution which is already there, which is simply set, connect, and forget. We will take care of the infrastructure. We will take care of storage. Um, good example with that, we have some partners whose clients used to have one terabyte this month. Six months later, they have 10 terabytes, uh, and they don't have to pay any additional fees or any additional um, charges for that. It's simply all included with the price per user uh, model. 24-7 support. You can either um, make your clients get connect to us for the first escalation, or they can reach out to you directly, uh, but it's completely up to you, and we, we are happy to work around how your business model works. So 24-7 uh, support is available there if you want to connect straight with us and uh, look for a resolution. Now, the only thing CT4 and Cirrus expects partners to do in this case is uh, we want you to invoice your client. That's the only thing we don't do. So we look after your storage infrastructure, all of your backup life cycles, uh, but we leave you for the easy bit, which is the invoicing. So you, the only job you have to do is invoice your clients. Now, gain trust by offering a full working solution. It, it cannot get any truer than that. So at the end of the day, you're using a solution that is built on Vain Backup and utilizing Azure technologies, which is a reassurance to your clients. And uh, next one, please, Russia. Uh, you can search for Cirrus on Indra Micro Marketplace. Um, you can uh, look for SKUs that um, suit your client's needs. We also have an NFR SKU, which you can use for your own tenancy if you want to utilize Cirrus uh, as a back solution for your M365 tenancy. And to the last one. And thank you for attending today um, and for the opportunity to present. So, understand this was just a quick overview and you know all of you are running short of time but if you want to find out more please get in touch with me and i can take you through a product walkthrough and commercials um, around Cirrus for your business well done Nipun. thank you very much for educating us all on who ct4 is and how potentially uh, you could be a, a good partner for some who are listening into the webinar today so I, I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar i was really hoping that you'd be able to get to the end of this and actually understand these three points. You'd understand what the shared responsibility model is. And I think that the three of us hopefully have done a half decent job in getting that point across. Second, that if you don't have your own storage, that's okay. You can work with Ingram infrastructure as a storage. Roshan will be your go-to man. He'll be more than happy to be able to get you up and running uh, on that kind of a model. And thirdly, not quite ready to roll out backup as a service just yet, also not a problem. CT4, a very trusted and reliable partner worthy uh, of your consideration. So just in summary, on behalf of Russian, uh, Nippon and myself, we'd like to thank you for joining our webinar today. Uh, if you join, you'll absolutely get a follow-up email from us. Feel free to engage. If you've got any questions, we're more than happy to work along with you. Again, appreciate your time and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.